Hello, my friends. It's uh, Dan Riley. <laughs> I'm Dan Riley, greeting you in what is still our Advent season. In fact, today is Our Lady of Guadalupe's feast day. And there's a celebration in the Americas for the beauty of this mother of ours, the mother of Jesus Christ, who reached down and touched the heart of Juan Diego and so touches our hearts today. He was first disbelieved because of possibly his color, certainly his poverty, and yet the church came to know and understand that he was a true messenger of a visage of a mother of a woman who wanted to let us know about the beauty of who we are with one another and the beauty of creation. Early on, we have a story in the garment that she had behind her of the very cosmos with which we live in, which at times seems distorted deranged and confused. And that's so much of the theme of Advent, of our coming to fullness in Christ. God reaches way deep down into our lives again. It's good for us to remember and think of God who <laughs> has long arms and a big lap. A God who cares for us so deeply and richly that God reaches out to us now as a mother would hold us and care for us close to her breast and a Dad might pick us up on his knee and bounce us around as a child or protect us from a storm or cover us and care for us. This was Mary. This was Joseph. This is our God. This is Jesus who not only leans into our life but came into our life as incarnate and for us. And we hear sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I'm coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall see and be God's people. He will dwell among you, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. So soon among us, uh, in our own sense of re-celebrating the wonderful incarnation that came about through Mary's yes, and now our willingness to receive again Christ, wants to be in the world, wants to be born to others through our own choice and our own willingness. Uh, you and I are, are here in that season, the, the movement over from the advent of waiting to the Christmas rejoicing to the daily living of the God who gives God's self. How? Well, we hear this beautifully in Titus, which we hear a couple times in different masses for Christmas Day. When the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of God's mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and the renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. My sisters, brothers, we're heirs of eternal life, and we hope in that. We live our lives uh, generated up out of that reality, not just a dream, but the truth that in the incarnation in Christ's coming, we are one with one another and all of creation. So as God's large arms reach out to us and gather us in, God gathers in all of the creation, all creatures, each one at a time, places them on his lap as a, <laughs> think of the Santa Claus image now, and cuddles us, cares for us. Why? The world's a difficult place, but in this nourishing and nurturing way, God sets us out and free in grace to treat each other the same way. The deep love of familial care, thoughtfulness, and peace. As we move from this Advent time and the celebration of Mary's beautiful yes, which is recalled again on the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and will be again through Christmas time in the echoing of songs, let us, you and I and, and others, just come forward and reach out to each other and reach out to creation with that joy of the fact that, that we've received God's mercy and the dying and rising of Jesus, the one who comes now to us as a mere child. 
who holds us by hand and walks us home to the Father, who lifts us up as the Father takes us into the Father's arms, and the Mother God holding us close to her, and we are one. We are one because God has made us one. Blessings, my friend. May this be a, a joyful Christmas for you and for those around you. And thank you because you'll be remembered at the mountain. You'll be in our prayers and masses throughout the season. Thank you for your friendship, your kindness, and your goodness. Continue to love the world because the world is our sister and brother.